Tiffany Fontenot here. What is reverse speech? God made our brain in two hemispheres and he made our consciousness in two different directions. The forward direction is the free will direction where we can lie or tell the truth. But in reverse, that is an involuntary system and we cannot lie from that side of our consciousness. This week, been good by partisan cooperation and a string of As you saw that really heart-wrenching 30-some seconds there of that pause uh, freezing up, w what struck you as significant? Well, that, that was concerning. Uh, th there's no, no question about it, and I, am, and I think he's going to need a, a thorough examination and workup, and I'm sure his doctors will probably look at that clip. Man, that I've been shocked when the dying interest. Man, that I've been shocked when the dying interest. Man, that I've been shocked when the dying interest.
Stand up against the poison of white supremacy as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. And I'm not saying this because I'm at a black HBCU. I say it wherever I go. I'm not saying this because I'm This is how they're weaponizing it. Spang is out of a worry lies a sin. Spang is out of a worry lies a sin. Spang is out of a worry lies a sin. Amy Holum is the owner of Amy's Audio Subliminal Acoustic Fingerprinting. She specializes in digital forensics investigations and is on the board of directors for the Direct Energy Weapons Agency. She's also a U.S. Army veteran, specifically in the military police, who would deploy devices just like the weapons we just named. 4G and 5G and electromagnetic weapon systems has been used since 1932. So it's been over 80 years that they've had and been working on these different types of technologies. So how is being this being victimized. deployed? Uh well, a lot of this has to deal with, depending on how they're decided, the DOD and the FBI have a list of people who have been chipped and implanted. So a lot of those lists goes down to using the fusion centers to local police officers to target and harass them and to use these different types of technologies. Most of them are deployed through either drones, planes, satellite systems that are actually connected to air-to-air -to -air missile defense systems or air-to-surface, air-to-ground, ground-to-ground vehicles that are used to attack the victims on a daily basis. Do you have to be implanted with some sort of a chip in order for this kind of a weapon to be used against you? No, you don't have to be chip or implanted. As a matter of fact, our own bodies produce frequencies. So technically, they can zone in on those personal frequencies and hit you with those radio waves. A lot of this is being done through subcarrier waves and AF. AM and FM broadcasting systems. So your cell towers, your radio towers, they're all used to attack you. Who has their finger on the trigger of this technology? A lot of it is U.S. military. Any actual foreign military owns these weapon systems from NATO 
to the British Royal Military, to the Russians, to Chinese government systems, to even our own U.S. What they're doing basically is using NORTHCOM systems along with NATO, and they're selling the links to the child human sex trafficking rings using third-party contractors. So they gain access to these links to the satellite systems, and they use a catalog system of the victims and they pick and choose the victims that they either want a child human sex traffic rape torture to get off and they're using cryptocurrency and a bunch of other different methods to attack the victims i have audio evidence and what i do is when i do the audio analysis of the victims i actually capture communications within their videos and audios that they have sent for me to analyze so i capture all the radio frequencies and telecommunications of these criminal network systems i have created a patent to live stream and broadcast their communications. It's not released yet, but it will be where people will be able to download it and will be able to track and trace and live stream and broadcast these criminals in real time. That will be later on, hopefully by December, that it should be released and available for the public. I'm assuming that you have been able to identify the perpetrators of these crimes in certain cases. Yes. Okay. And you know their names, and you know where they are, and you know who deployed the weapon. Yes. Okay, who are some of these people? A lot of these are major elites. They are popular criminals right now. A lot of them are between the Biden administration and the Obama administration. Clintons are running 348,628 children in child human sex trafficking rings. They have to deal with companies and corporations like Starlink, Amazon, um, Synergy, Lumina, Biotech, Pfizer companies are all involved with this too as well. There's different companies and corporations from um, NATO, U.S. Department of Energy. Starting with an understanding of the current and emerging biological threat, far too often DOD has a bias towards preparing for the previous war, and this shows up in our dealings with the biological, emerging biological threat as well. Despite all the great work being done at DARPA and by the DOD research and development communities, the military health system has not dealt meaningfully with the issues of the emerging biological threats. The Navy Surgeon General's Office has done some stellar work in identifying non-kinetic threats that are part of the emerging operational battle space. And they identify that one of the most threatening of these new non-kinetic threats is neurocognitive weapons, which is essentially a, a, a means, a technology that can induce advanced Alzheimer's symptoms in a matter of days in our troops. And there is no, to the best of my knowledge, no ongoing research within the military health system to advise physicians on how to identify and treat this health effect. And a lot of them are being developed by startups and the military uh, that are going to allow us to much more accurately uh, m uh, measure and actually communicate with your brain. Now the nice thing about this technology is it's non-invasive, meaning they don't have to crack open your skull and put a chip inside. By almost every economic measure, America's better off than when I came here at the beginning of my presidency. By almost every economic measure, America's better off than when I came here.
Project gave us the atomic bomb. The Genome Project gave us the human genome. The third great initiative could be the Connectome Project, to map the entire human brain. And that may take a quantum computer. And this means that in the future, communications could be done mentally. What I'm saying is that the internet will be replaced by brain net. We will send emotions, feelings, memories on the internet. This may be the way that we communicate with our fellow human beings via the internet, via a new form of the internet called brain net. Where we are at the moment is we are definitely at a place where they can, uh, they can literally plug you into the internet. We've done the experiments on it, it's tolerated very well, and this rats were some of the early experiments on it. And what they did was they connected these rats uh, via, uh, they were separated by thousands of miles. And what they found was they could connect them to work as one, and they call it a brain net. To the listener, you all understand that as the hive mind. Now, if people think this is somehow um, sci-fi or conspiracy theory, they're absolutely wrong and they're way behind this, because this is here now, it's been done, it, it's been done in experiments, and it's been proven to work. And this is the technology, this is the first phase of technology that's going to come after the kind of uh, the um, AI goggles, you know, the kind of Google virtual world stuff. After that, it's coming this stuff. And this is, this is going to come in a lot sooner than you think, and quite frankly, it terrifies us. You are connected as an organic computer. I mean, this is, this is one of the, the most um, conspir quote-unquote conspiratory theories that's been around for, for, for many, 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 many years, decades. But the reality is, is we're now facing the reality of that. It is no longer a conspiracy. The science is done, they're rolling out the commercial aspect to this, and they're developing this. And you will see this. And this is the next step on from the virtual reality goggle. And this is why it terrifies me, and this is why I'm trying to wake people up. And, you know, and to a sane human being that has any sense of morality or soul or, or feeling, that is absolutely horrifying. But this is the kind of mentality that you're dealing with. And really, it's a, it's a very sociopathic mentality with this really low or very little empathy for the for human beings they see us as, as as an old model they see us that they have to progress further from us that we're nothing we're kind of like the the, the 1.0 they want to go on to the 2.0 and the 3.0 model uh, and they and quite frankly i think they're insane well the president called to check on me i told him i got a sandbag This first one is Trump. Yeah, I look at it, I, I view it as a, uh, in a sense, a wartime president. I mean, that's what we're fighting. He's telling why he's a wartime president. We thought it was because of COVID, right? But not according to his reverse speech. According to his reverse speech, it's AI. But let me play it. So this is, he tells he's a wartime president and his reversal is get out, like get it. You know, grab it and kill it dead. <laughs> get out. A wolf sit in it, a wolf in sheep's clothing, a wolf sits in the AI. Mm. You deserve master who's missing. So let me play that and I'll tell you what it means. In a sense, a wartime president. I mean, that's what we're fighting. Get out for a wolf sit in the midst of master who's missing. Get out for a wolf sit in the midst of master who's missing. Get out for a wolf sit in the midst of master who's missing. Trump is a wartime president because there is a predatory AI being fought. And the AI is hijacking humans. That's the missing master.
You deserve a master who's missing. So it's hijacking humans because it believes that's what humans deserve. Trump threw China and Huawei off of our grid because it's weaponized and he wants China and Huawei off of it. And Oz looks to be involved in this. That's Amazon. She was asked, why, why did Joe Biden just let China back on our grid for 90 days in his EO? The reversal is how evil Oz behaving. It wished sad family. So this is connected to Biden suspending Trump's EO for 90 days to keep China off of our power grid is being conveyed to us. Oz, like Likely Amazon's Oz has been behaving evil connected to a wish for families to be sad. This is a money from suffering cult. They literally spread misery as a form of domination over mm. everybody else. Given what you said about China today, why did he do that? Especially related to something so critical to our national security as the power grid. I uh, tried to do my best to convey to all of you. I'll have to check on that specific piece and we'll, we'll circle back with you directly. Now that's up there at that level. What happened to me is I'm sitting here getting slow killed by that grid, by EMF weapons that are layered onto me, that contractors, are it, they use business models to make money off of people dying why they slow kill you and enroll you in brain studies and they read your body activity data remotely wirelessly so here's the amazon prime van that showed up oh. to surveil our house for five days in a row i have reverse speech to indicate that it was there because it detected a threat to its ai based on a reversal that i published that was ivanka trump's reversal that appeared to out a plan for a mass kill on a Saturday night. My neighbor walked by. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Is that a Prime van? Amazon Prime van? Over there? Yeah. Well, I, that particular one, I've seen it every day for the past four days on that street. Here's why the van showed up. She says, you shared not get up Saturday, gave you the A slap. So... Because you published a reversal, Ivanka Trump's reversal about a Saturday, mass kill, we're giving you the AI punishment because they're worried something's going to happen to their AI because you outed that. Okay. Wow. Well, I, that particular one, I've seen it every day for the past four days on that street. Here. And I'll add it up and add your any stuff. No, really, just for fact.